difference between interference and diffraction let's see what is the difference between the interference and diffraction actually there is very small difference between the interference and diffraction i have shown here the diagram for the interference as you can see in this diagram there is a source of the light and this light travel in the form of circular wave front which is then incident on the two small slit there is a slit over here and the slit over here so there are two slits slit number 1 and 2 because of this small slit the wave front is divided into two wave fronts and this wave front then travel a different distance this wave front travel in this direction from the first slit and from second slit the wave fronts are traveling in this direction and at these points they are interfering these wave fronts are interfering with each other at this cross points so you can say that this is the interference between two wave fronts interference in case of the interference there is a interference between two wave fronts emitted from two coherent sources 1 and 2 are the two coherent sources and source 1 and source 2 emit separate wave fronts and these wave fronts interfere so in case of the interference there is a interference between two wave fronts emitted from two coherent sources but see in case of the diffraction in the diffraction as per the huygens wave theory of light when this light when this plane wave front these are the plane wave front these wave front incident on the small aperture when this incident on this small aperture so in the aperture every point in the plane of the slit acts as a secondary source and emit secondary waves in all direction so it is nothing but the bending of light takes place and because of the bending of light light travel different path so this wave front you can say because of the bending of light the wave fronts travel different path in the different direction and these wave front which are emitted from same wave front or you can say the secondary waves which are emitted from the same wave front these secondary waves interfere and produce the diffraction pattern so these are the two separate diagrams for interference and diffraction and so as i said what is interference and the diffraction is the first difference is interference between the two wave fronts emitted from two coherent sources in case of the interference interference between the two wave fronts emitted from two coherent sources but in case of the diffraction diffraction is also interference but it is a interference between numerous secondary wavelets produced by same wave front so secondary waves you know every point in the plane of the slit acts as a source of secondary light and emit secondary waves in all direction so diffraction is nothing but interference between these secondary waves from numerous points of the same wave front so that is the diffraction then you can see the you know what what kind of fringes you get for interference and the diffraction as you can see here in this case this is the dark point over here and this is bright 
so you get you know these are these bright fringes are usually they are equally spaced here bright fringe or dark fringe they are equally spaced and you you get you know uniform intensity for the bright throughout this region the intensity is uniform similarly in case of the dark point this darkness is completely dark over here it's a zero intensity here and at this point there is a maximum intensity and the same thing is true for the every interference dark and bright fringe on the contrary here you can see the diffraction fringes in case of the diffraction fringes you know intensity of the central maxima is maximum intensity of the central fringe which is called the central maxima is maximum and it goes on decreasing as you go away from the central fringe and these dark points are not perfectly dark so dark fringes are not perfectly dark even the bright fringes also as you can see here intensity of the bright fringe is the maximum at the center and if you go away from that center the intensity goes on decreasing so in terms of this fringes you can say that here minimum intensities in case of interference minimum intensities are perfectly dark so these are the minimum intensity fringes that is because of the destructive interference and they are perfectly dark but in case of diffraction minimum intensities are not perfectly dark as you can see here at this point there is a maximum darkness but if you go away from that point this side or this side the darkness decreases so the dark fringes in case of the diffraction are not perfectly dark on the contrary you can see that bright fringes in case of the diffraction interference bright fringes are equally bright they have the same intensity every bright fringe has the same uniform intensity throughout the fringes but as you can see here in case of the diffraction bright fringes are not equally bright you can see here intensity of central fringe is maximum and goes on decreasing on either side of it as you can see intensity of the central fringe is maximum here and then it goes on decreasing these are also bright fringes on either side of the central bright fringe you get the secondary bright fringes and its intensity goes on decreasing as you go away from the central fringe and the last difference is interference fringes are equally spaced you can see here you can see the width of the dark and the width of the bright fringe are almost equal you can you already studied this in wedge shaped film in case of the wedge shaped film you get fringes of constant th thickness that is a fringe width is constant so interference fringes are generally equally spaced but diffraction fringes are not e usually equally spaced and that is the difference